Hello everybody, this is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com and here we have is a new Pebble Steel, the premium version of the popular Pebble smartwatch which started off as a Kickstarter project. So let's look around the box. So in terms of design, it's much thicker and more upmarket compared to the original Pebble smartwatch. So in the previous Pebble smartwatch, it came in this flat pack design which is pretty basic and it just contains the watch and the USB cables and there's not even a manual included as well. So in this new version, which is 100 US dollars more expensive than the previous one, we expect a lot more from the packaging. So it comes with this nice black box with a removable top panel. So without further ado, let's unbox the Pebble Steel. So upon removing the box cover, so you get to see the watch almost immediately. So you can see here, this is a premium version with the metal uh, frame. And you can see right here, it has these uh, tactical metal buttons at the sides. Alright, so let's check out the watch. So in terms of colors, there's two versions available for the steel. So you have the brushed aluminum version, which you see right here, and a matte black version, which comes with a uh, darker tone. So each pebble steel comes with two straps. So you get the leather strap, as you can see right here, and the steel strap, which is placed inside the box. So what else is in here? So let's open the flap. So you get documentations. So what you have here, you have a quick startup guide which explains a little bit about the watch and how to set it up including the functions of the buttons, some product information which nobody actually reads and a quick uh, instructions guide on how to remove the strap. Looks simple enough. And then of course, like I mentioned earlier, you have this uh, metal strap. So this matches the color that you ordered. So this is for the brush aluminium version, so obviously if you get the matte black version, you get a black color metal strap. And of course, you can't forget the USB charging cable. So you can see right here, it has this um, USB cable and a magnetic connector point which connects to your phone. Sorry, to your smartwatch. So you can see right here, it looks a bit different than the original Pebble charging cable. So uh, we, are un we are highly doubtful that this will work with the previous Pebble smartwatches. So let's just give it a try. So this is the previous Pebble smartwatch, the plastic version. And let's see whether it fits in properly. Well, in the man managed to hook on, but it's not a secure fit. So we highly doubt that this will work with the older smartwatch. So there you have it, the new Pebble still requires the original cable, so you can use it for all the smartwatches. Alright, so enough of the cable, so let's take a closer look at the Pebble Steel. So let me just unstrap this uh, leather strap to get a closer look. Alright, so if we put this side by side with the original Pebble smartwatch, it's, uh, it feels better in the hands, it's more solid. And you can see right here, it's slightly narrow and slightly shorter as well. And the sides here, you get these uh, tactical buttons as well. So internally, it's the same spec. You have the 1.26 inch uh, e paper display. And it also comes with, uh, with a water resistance of 80 and 5, which should withstand uh, swimming and diving to a certain degree. And what's new on the pebble still is that it comes with this uh, LED illumination light down here. All right. So that's just a quick look at the Pebble Steel. I uh, will try to put more of our findings in a full review later on. So thanks for the likes, thanks for the comments, and thank you for subscribing to our channel. This is SoyaChinchow.com. See you guys later.